Let's take a trip back to the world of Kiralia. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this coronavirus infested world. Welcome to another episode of Amazing World, where today I'm going to be discussing the Traitor Spy trilogy by Australian author Trudy Canavan. So, here I've got um, the second trilogy set in the world of Kiralia. Uh, if you haven't done so, please check my earlier video where I um, introduced, discussed and covered um, the Black Magician trilogy by Trudy Canavan. This is a sequel to that uh, trilogy set in the same world with some of the uh, same players. So, what we've got here is a continuation set a couple of decades in the future and it begins with um, book one, uh, Ambassador's Mission, um, book two, uh, The Rogue, and book three, um, The Traitor Queen, which um, delightfully signed there by Trudy Canavan herself. Um, had the pleasure of meeting her, lovely lady. Um, please keep writing. Uh, so, um, what we've got in the books is exactly the same setting, the same world we had uh, in the first trilogy. So we have our, our maps of the different um, uh, countries there and of the, of the main city. We've got here uh, a map of the uh, Magician's Guild as well. So, things have moved on. Sonia is now a fully trained uh, healer in the guild. She's made amends with her rival during from her uh, youth. Um, and now she's got a son uh, who is a um, young man, just finished his training, doesn't quite know what he wants to do with his life. So he joins Daniel, um, one of um, Sonia's mentors that we met in the first trilogy as he becomes ambassador to the fiercely hostile nation of Sachaka. Um, Sonia's son Lorkin goes along with Daniel um, to have an experience, figure out what he wants to do with his life. Um, simultaneously, um, Kerry, or uh, sorry, whatever his name was, uh, Sonia's uh, old friend from the slums, is now the King of Thieves of uh, Imordin, and we discover that there is someone going through the city killing thieves. Um, and obviously, um, Kerry is at risk, but he sets out to hunt, track down, and um, find this thief killer, enlisting the help of Sonia. As a third subplot there, we also follow a couple of young girls um, who are uh, growing up and training uh, in the Magician's Guild and they explore secret magic. It's, the relationship is a little bit weird. There's a slight infatuation there from one of the girls with the other one who's a bit more um, world savvy, who is showing her riches and secrets and stuff like that. And there's a quasi uh, sexual, emotional relationship there as well, but very tastefully done as usual with um, through the Caravan's writing. Um, we also explore again the issues of homosexuality, just like we did in the first trilogy, in the figure of Daniel. I just, again, I've made it clear in my earlier video, it's not something that bothers me, I just realise, not just realise, but I've come to the conclusion that I actually don't care about people's sexual orientation, when you have to deal with them. I've had colleagues in the past, um, I've got friends, and it, it just, it's just not important at all. Whenever you have to do business with someone, or whenever you have to work with someone, or whenever you have to deal with someone in a professional capacity, um, you're not thinking about what they get up to. It's just it's no one's business, and it doesn't really uh, matter at all in my interactions with them. So in my fantasy, um, whether a character is homosexual or not, to me, it doesn't add anything to the to the story. Um, I suppose if you're thinking about 
um, target audience, maybe as part of educating um, younger generations. Perhaps it does serve a purpose. I mean, in the past I've already discussed in my earlier video that some people uh, classified the Black Magician trilogy as uh, young adult writing. I didn't necessarily share that opinion. Uh, maybe I am willing to change my mind here with uh, the Traitor Spy. Um, or maybe just because I'm really a little bit older, maybe it's because I really found the story a bit um, harder to relate. So here we follow Sonia's son, Lorkin, as when he travels to Sashaka, accompanying Daniel, he uh, falls in love with, uh, with a slave girl um, from Sashaka, because in that country there are no servants, there are slaves. Um, turns out that actually um, she is a member of the Rogues, which is this group of all women magicians that have been hiding in the mountains for generations, planning to overthrow uh, the Sasha can rule. Now, already I had issues uh, with that story because it's long ago since I was chasing after women or trying to uh, get really excited about that kind of new relationship. So point number one. But point number two, I didn't believe the story. I, I didn't believe that there could have been a group of magicians hiding in the mountains for generations trying to overthrow the rulers and that no one would have found them at all until now and somehow they managed to stay hidden away. I, I, I don't know. That, that part of the story for me it, it was a bit weak um, and I think that in general uh, Trade to Spy trilogy is a little bit weaker um, story-wise than Black Magician was. I think it's a worthy addition. I think that if you enjoyed um, Black Magician, you could certainly give this a go. Um, however, if you're curious about the author, if you're curious about the world and you want to explore it, I would not recommend starting with The Traitor Spy. I honestly believe that Black Magician, the first trilogy, is a much superior work. Would I call this YA? Again, not necessarily, but maybe I'm willing to concede the point this time, purely because of themes, purely because of um, voice, uh, title character. Sonia is not our main character anymore. She's still playing a part, but she's more uh, there in a supporting secondary role and Lorkin and his love interest are sort of the main plot line there. And, you know, for a seasoned fantasy reader, uh, perhaps uh, that character there isn't strong enough to really uh, pull you into the story and, and, and capture your imagination there. But, as usual, I could be wrong um, and I could have missed the point here. So I'm more than happy to be told where, when, how, why. Please do comment, like, subscribe. Let me know. Anyway, I think this this is it, but I don't want to extend it any more than I have to. Maybe it's a slightly shorter review, but I think it's a follow-on from the previous one, so please check that one as well. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please um, stay safe, have fun, wash your hands, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.